Can you prove yeah. to me? I've got a question for you. There were disciples right. and they saw no, Jesus. Um, wait, hold on. Okay. 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 This way. Uh, you just deflected my question. I didn't deflect it. I heard it, and want, I'm asking you. Yeah, there you, 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 uh, yeah, uh, yeah. you so go. You want me to? You got the dates something. wrong, by the way. Oh, what, what do you want me to prove? Uh, that they were the disciples. Yeah. Now oh. these are the accounts of the scholars at that time. Now someone like myself uh, has a belief in this book as being the truth and word of God. Um, why do I believe in this account? Because the Bible is very clear in the Ten Commandments: Thou shalt not bear false witness. We don't have the. We do not have the. Um, the first commandment. The first commandment: Love the Lord, uh, uh, love the Lord thy God. One second. One second. Thou shalt have no other gods. Um, Exodus. Wait. Let me not deflect. I'll go into that. I'll, no, no. Because I, uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's a distraction because I'm trying to answer. But the first commandment is. Thou shall not have any God, other gods before me. Um, I just want to say something yeah. before you carry on. This is there, the original there's, there's a way to propagate your truth without being derogatory. What, like without, cutting off hands? All right, all right. Um, That's the thing. You're talking, thank you, thank you. One second. You're, I like you're talking to a Muslim yeah. okay. who has never cut anyone's feet. But who, your God does. Who, no, no, no. Forget, no, no, forget my God. Because you said, you said, you said Muslims. We don't, we don't have them kids, do we? One no. second, bro. The energy is wrong, bro. Wait. I'm not attacking. I'm not... I'm, all no, I'm saying is, got a question. So, there's a it's way. A question. That's a statement that you're making. Yeah, yeah, yeah the statement. statement. Do you know why? Because okay, I, I, I don't want to be disrespectful. Statement. I'm not going to sit I, here and say no your Bible is this and that. Right, right, I'm going to say your Bible is not credible, but I'm not going to say your Bible, your, your Bible does this. Let me explain something. So you're saying that there's a derogatory. You say there's a derogatory. No, one of the. Can I can I respond? I've listened to you. Please give it. Okay, continue. Yes. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Me. Did I say you? Yeah. Don't, don't, no, don't, no, no, hold on, hold on. No, no. I said Islam, the Quran. No, no, I didn't say Muslim. No, no. Quran, no, do not put words in my mouth. I, I really don't. I detest people that actually. Uh, no, no. I don't work like that. Honestly, sorry. I, I'm an individual. My name's Jacob. I have a way of Jacob. No, no, no. No. I said Muslims. They went into churches. No. I said ISIS members went into churches and bombed churches in um, in okay. um, in Sri Lanka that's nothing that's to do with the Quran that's nothing to do with Islam that's nothing to do with the Quran okay okay not in all right all right all right sorry sorry okay fight. if you're fighting it must be a war uh, Quran 929 have you read Quran 929 yeah I'll answer your question I will I will no he was actually yeah yeah no no I'm going to answer your question it's just that we don't want to fight them until they're quoting your scripture until they feel themselves humiliated and pay the Jizya. Yeah. This is, this Fight is against where, those that don't believe in Allah and the last day. Why are we suffering? No, the tafsir will confirm we've it. We've read the line. Have yeah. you taken the time to actually I've read the whole Yeah, we've read the, the tafsir. Yeah, well we've done, read the tafsir. Have you taken the time to interpret what the words no, mean? No, I went with an Islamic interpretation. I went with yeah, Ibn Kathir's. I went with Ibn Abbas. If you want to ask not the translation, the tafsir. Okay, can I just quickly address him? All right, so, okay, all right, all right. There's Tafsir Ibn Abbas, there's Tafsir yeah, Ibn Kathir. I, I'm not here to do Islamic exegesis now, but it tells very clearly fight against the Christians. You, uh, Muhammad in the Hadith, the he also Quran. said, he also said he will expel the Arabians. He said he will expel what, what, the Christians and the Jews from Arabia. Well, no, no, it's not one at a time. What you're doing problem. is you're actually trying to debate me. I don't debate. I rebuke false doctrine. Right. What you're trying to tell me is how to use my Bible when you don't know what. No, 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 my brain, Bible. Brain. Well, hold on. I, okay, you think I can't use my brain? Fantastic. No, so you no, don't. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You'll start with the ad hominem, but I'll just go in. Timothy 3.16, rebuke false doctrine. Rebuke is a strong your strap. Book, Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can rebuke no, false doctrine. No, no, I can rebuke false doctrine. I will read the Bible. You have to use the Quran against me. I don't need to use the Quran against you. I don't take orders from people that are complete strangers, that are actually lacking of intellect and knowledge of what I'm talking about. And are just trying to make themselves into showmen for the camera because they probably have a very low, you probably have a very low attitude towards Towards this. this but anyway this is what I, mean I am not going to be discussed I'm speaking the truth the truth sometimes hurts all scriptures given by inspiration Still Second Timothy 3.16 All scriptures given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect throughout. 
Our, our religion tells us specifically Islam is anti-Christ, no, it's anti-God. Our religion tells us Allah is Satan. My job as a Christian missionary is to warn Muslims yeah. for those that want to be changed. Those that reject the Bible, I'm to leave them alone. So if you want to reject the scripture, I leave you alone. No, no, I'm not here to fall. No, no, it's not a you, claim. You, I'm reading the no, no, scriptures. I will not get into ignorant claim. arguments, so I've finished I'm your day. Okay, so let's go into Do your... You yeah. question? Yes. Do you remember my question? Yes, it was something about what is the proof of um, the disciples. Gospels. Now, the Gospels to us, and me that's a believer, we believe in the commandments of God, and one of the commandments is, thou shalt not bear false witness. Um, unfortunately, in Islam, uh, Allah is called al Makkah. Wait, hold on, no, I'm giving my speech, and you can hey, respond. So you, you, you have to understand, I've, I've read it, so I'll read Timothy again. First Timothy 3.16. Uh, a lot of Muslims here have this misconception. They feel that they can talk to us and then we have to be dimmy and mellow. But no, when I'm talking against an antichrist spirit, I am going to rebuke. I'm going to rebuke a false doctrine. I am not going to argue. I'm not going to debate. I'm going to rebuke. He's asked me, why are the disciples? Why do I believe? I've said it very specifically. The disciples and the account comes from the book of the scriptures. Uh, we've learnt that the scripture is profitable and is God breathed. Now, over 3,500 years, 66 books were compiled to make this Bible. So we have an account of 40 men of God called prophets, including Moses, Isaiah, Micah, and um, um, he's not considered a prophet in the Bible. Uh, and we have other prophets, including um, uh, Ezekiel. So these prophets all believe in not bearing false witness. So by not bearing false witness, they've given us an account of God. So what are the I'm disciples going to gain Simon, lying Simon, that they are not Simon the disciples of Christ? Marriage. What do Christians Simon? have to gain by saying that Jesus Christ did not exist? What do we have to gain? We have nothing to gain but a deception to ourselves. We believe in Christ because we believe in salvation in heaven by believing in Christ. If we don't believe the account of the dis disciples, then we don't have faith. We are not like Muslims that in order for their prophet to have faith, uh, an angel cut his belly and put a dish of wisdom. Faith in the Bible is belief in our Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God becoming flesh. So that is what our religion is based on, on that belief. Your faith is built on many multiple okay, things. So what, I'd like to say something because I actually like work with this team. Yes. So what I'd like to say is uh, Yakub's answer Yacoub, includes yeah, yeah. the... Yacoub, excuse yeah. me, bro. <laughs> um, the, the, brav, brav. <laughs> but who's asking you? The we point is know. that what it is, but ah, our survey Yacoub, says... Ah, ah. <laughs> right, anyway, the point is that if all scripture is God breathed... Don't be Jacob. You see this finger behind my back. Right, the point is, yes, yes I am. The point is that if all That's scripture is, bruv! The point is, the point is, do you? Well go and feel like it over there then. I'm going to answer you. We know that all books, we know that all books of the Bible, all scripture is God breathed, as Jacob just pointed out. We have had 2,000 years of critical um, like uh, of critiquing the Bible, of researching the Bible. You're we know right. that Matthew, I'm not lying. You're and right. okay, <laughs> I care what you think. Hold on. No, I don't. No, no, right. I don't know. You can't answer this question. Excellent. I'm trying to answer it, but you keep heckling because you're afraid of the I'm truth because you don't have the truth in you. Well, this is the Mohammedan yeah. cause. Let's go back to the persecution. And no, let's also. Well, well. They don't, they let, don't let, want no, let me give answers. the, the they people who are watching an answer. All scripture is God breathed. We know that Matthew was a tax collector. We know that Luke was a doctor. We know that John is the disciple that Christ loved. We know that Mark was certainly present at. Um, actually, it was written uh, like. Peter was, it's in the Bible, dude. I haven't finished though, and it's quite it's rude to interrupt someone. Well. Church, so anyway, Church, church Fathers, fathers yeah. Christ himself yeah. um, was represented by these people. If they had lied, they themselves would believe them to, themselves to be going to hell. Shall Their accounts have been question? verified. Of course uh, you may. Funny enough, where's the evidence Muhammad existed? Okay. I don't yeah, have any. Okay. That, that, that's a, because it's, no, it's yeah. called a counter-argument. Yeah, no, no, counter I've because given you my answer. Wise, Can I have the give us some evidence. We're talking about persecution. Yeah, I'll give them to you afterwards. Yeah, just Google them. I direct you. I direct you. No, no, I don't need direction. You didn't I'm here for persecution. No, I'm not asking. I'm just I'm just throwing it out to show the silly of the Mohammedan argument. Because guys are not trying to actually learn something. Jacob, wait, trying to question. I'm not Jacob, it's Jacob. Okay, I got a yes, question. Thank you. 
I've been listening. Yes. And I hear that. Oh, okay. Sorry, ask the, the question again. So. Yeah. yeah. So I've been listening, and I hear that you're saying Allah, you know, is the devil. In okay. The, in now, the Bible, according to the Bible. Now, according to the Bible. Yeah. Let's talk about Christianity. Okay. Many first. years ago, in America, yeah. so many Christian yeah. slave owners yeah. and slave Native Americans, mm -hmm. half of them got killed because they didn't do anything. Right. And who should judge them? Who, is that Christian well, doctrine? But they're, who they're, should judge them? Wait, 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 that guy got the answer right. Look, they're doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Were they doing but, it in the name of Jesus, the slave yes. traders? Well, they weren't well, using any verses the about give up your slaves. Yes, we are going to treat slave your slaves as brothers. Is they that what, what, verse? what verse? What verse? Crusaders. Crusaders. Which verse? Crusaders. Which verse? Crusaders. Which verse? Crusaders. The Crusaders decided. were in defensive no, no, action. They were theologically um, sound. Show me where it says I'm not going to show any verses. But you don't know them. You don't know them. But you don't know them. They were misquoted. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. There's one thing by Plato. Plato said, Plato said something very interesting. He said, a fool speaks because he wants to be heard. A, a wise man speaks because he has something to say. Now, some people here, they're being foolish. They just want to be heard rather than having something viable to say. So I think they're actually taking this um, video to the wrong direction, which was supposed to be about Christian persecution. They're not here to learn. I know they're not. I, know they're not. I do speak for Christ. I do speak for Christ. He says it's a parable. Open up your Bible. I don't need to give you a minute. Tell me the process. No. Parable. How does parable work? All right. Right, so you look at this part. All right, lots of love. Bye this now. Okay. So Christian, excuse me. Sorry. Christian persecution is what we. No, 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 no. I've been right there, and now we've moved across here. Okay. I'll move over here. JC, would you mind just till in the camera this way? It's, it's funny so Christian how women persecution. Are not well, I've only got fifty percent of. I think it's only Muslim women who only have fifty percent and are deficient in religion. Excellent. You know what it is? Too many holes in the Bible. Really? Really? That's the only thing. I really don't Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Anyone who wants to know, Luke 19, 27 is part of a parable. Jesus is quite... Because Jesus says it's... How does the process work? Sorry, for anyone who... Something they don't like. Let me answer then. And get out of my space because social distancing. Get out of my space, bruv. Because you're getting on my nerves. That's the answer. It's getting on my nerves. No, not at all. The process of parables for anyone who's like slightly backwards. The um, can we go the point here? is, the, the point is, nerves, heckling is so embarrassing by people who are not direct. funny. The, listen, yeah, dude, Bob, shut up. Yeah, How about that? You are. <laughs> talk to him somewhere else. The okay, point is that our ah, parables are an illustration of language and stories um, in, shown to uh, display an ethic or a moral or a hidden meaning. But in the Bible, Christ says, I have not spoken in secret. So all parables are explained like a... a maybe a paragraph down Christ will say and this is the meaning of the parable of the sower this is the meaning of the parable of the the meaners and the king so in that verse Christ's words which are a noted red I don't care about your first question Christ I really couldn't care less bruv the point is that Christ is quoting a king right, and that's to, it get to the conclusion. okay excellent okay. all right so this is the wrap-up um, I'm not here for this guy although he's certainly here for camera time I'm here for Jesus and I'm here for anyone like there's people in the background there who have sensible questions uh, even though we all, all have our passions inflamed uh, honestly the London in me is strong at the minute so the point is that Jesus I don't care for your questions so I'm doing a wrap up and he's also with me so I'm speaking for him because I have authority in Jesus of course you can all right Mr Brown can I do my conclusion before you get into no no forget Mr Brown he's just here to distract um, uh, peace and blessings of Christ to the so called audience so thank you once more and uh, Brother Marty that sent me this tweet, um, just remind, because she was talking about parables, my Twitter is, uh, is just purely for allegories. I, I'm just trying to show people that idols in worshipping things like Donald Trump, worshipping Boris Johnson, worshipping conservative parties and all these foolish uh, parties. And we also, on my Twitter, I'm very, very um, certain that fortunately, some of the um, guys that actually come on my Twitter, you actually ask me intelligent questions. And one of them, um, Marty, you sent me uh, a message, and this message was very important. Let's talk about uh, persecuted Christians. Sorry, yeah, I apologize.
too many holes we, in the we were talking about uh, the persecuted Christians, and like I said, I'm not going to um, soar so the blood of martyrs by talking about foolishness with uh, about people that Simon. choose to be ignorant. I'll go God back to what Plato you, said. Plato said something. Said. A fool talks because he wants to be heard. A wise man talks Plato because he has something to say. Now, the, what to is the importance of me mentioning this? Well, what happened in Christchurch was a very horrific and sad event. The guy got paid and he, he's now sentenced to life in prison. He murdered a lot of innocent people. Now, what's happened in um, Sri Lanka is that 250 Christians were murdered. 750 were made and, and none it. of these guys are getting justice because seven of the ISIS guys only two are getting convicted and five are getting released and we need to know what we have to do to ensure that people that are murdered are actually are given justice. We cannot use religion as an excuse to kill people innocently. We cannot use um, ignorance as an excuse to stifle voices that talk against condemning um, actions of barbarity. Now when somebody takes a truck, rams it into a church and blows up people on Easter and they say Allah Akbar. Who are they referring to? We have given you citations. Quran 9, 29, Quran 8, 12. There are many verses that talk about this antichrist doctrine of Islam that is brought to destroy the Christian faith. Revelation 12, 17 is the biblical prophecy of Islam and it's assault on the saints. We call on people to repent. That is what our job is as Christian missionaries. If you don't want to hear our report, my blood's not on your hands. This is why I'm very clear to get this message out. Because one day on judgment, God will ask, what did you do? I said, I tried to talk to my Muslim brothers. Most of them ignored me. My hands are free. Now, a lot of these guys here will come up with unnecessary um, conversation to die and divert from the true topic. But we ask the audience to pray for those persecuted Christians all around the world, whether it's under communism, oh, whether they're subjugated, or under he Islamic house doctrine, they, where they're murdered, raped whole, and brutalized, or of the, crowd. the other kind of situation the you were where me a terrorist. all no, he wasn't. The, no, that's not true now, you see the derogatory method of the Mohammedans here, and broke. this is the Antichrist oh, spirit. Who is a liar but he that denies that Jesus is a Christ? The Antichrist, and that's the evidence. He's just been lying. God bless you all. And remember, stay away from Islam, as apostate prophet says. Yeah. Right, lots of love. Oh, Mr. Brown, I'm sorry, I was about to go and... Brown, do you have a question? Let me say to Mr. Brown. You say uh, Jesus is both man and God, right? Yeah. Isn't that a, a, a hermaphrodite or androgynous? <laughs> no. Thank you, Mr. Brown. How can you just say no? Come on. But it's not really in, in, in its finger. You say it's both man and God, yeah? So a hermaphrodite, a hermaphrodite or... A, yeah. Two separate natures encompassed in one human body. So there's one human male body, because none of us believe in the transgender stuff. It's a male body and, and the word became flesh. It didn't become a male and a female, a God. And even if it was... A, even God and man does not make you a hermaphrodite because God is not a method of reproduction. So he's not androgynous either because that's to do with gender and sex. Jehovah and Elohim yeah, both contain masculine and feminine gods and goddesses. Yeah? So it's plural. Yeah? So it can, it, it, can, it can both mean... So, so with, within that word there is androgynous. I'm going to answer you. Yeah? Because, um, because God is uh, neither male or... Fi Excuse me, you're still interrupting. This geezer is camera hungry. The point is that it's an imperfect method of describing the indescribable so Allah is technically neither male or female because he is like spirit do you see what I'm saying so if something is purely spirit it has no sex or gender whereas Christ alone of the Godhead became human and he became male you Christians believe yes the dual nature yes big up John you believe that God took up flesh, God. Yes. Yeah? So that God, the Word, yeah. The Word, Elohim, or yep. Jehovah. The one who the Father he calls God flesh, in Hebrews, yeah. When he became flesh, yes. He was male. That word, that by that Word on its own, we understand that to mean androgynous. <coughs> no, we meaning, don't. We don't. So, 
I know you. I know you don't. I know you don't. I know you don't. But the 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 people who received the message understood it then. So we're talking about the we're talking about the the Kabbalists and the Jews. So they understood that. The Messiah is understood by the Jews to be eternal. They understood that exactly, not a dead Messiah. So so the Messiah you say that was Jesus is not that one. But let's not divert. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say that is. What I'm trying to say that is, you guys don't understand it, but what the people who received the message, the people who received the message understood it that way, that their God is a judge. Yes, yes. yes. We'll disagree. So the, the divinity is not a separate uh, form of gender. The pronouns that we use are earthly. And when we say the father, everybody thinks of a father, and yet God is unlike uh, any human father in that respect he is more than any kind of father he has eternally been the father there was never a time when he became the father there was um, hi there was only he was the eternal father to the eternal son with the eternal Holy Spirit in constant and divine communion how can he be referred to as the firstborn of all creation? He's he's referred to as the firstborn over all creation, so that's a slight pickup. And um, because David, if you remember, I don't know you up in your Bible, David is referred to as the firstborn of kings. He wasn't even the firstborn of his brothers, and he certainly wasn't the first king. So it's a position of honour. It's not. No, Jesus is the creator according to the Bible. Okay. Yeah. First, you have uh, to say that Jesus created all uh, things uh, in John, John one. Nothing was created that was not created by or through Him, and Hebrew says that all was created by Him and for Him. Is evidence is the word Trinity in the Bible? No, the word Godhead is in the Bible. It has the same meaning. Okay. Excellent. So was Trinity made up? Then, made up? No, Trinity was already a word, and it was used to refer to the Godhead. Okay. So what about in the Old Testament where it says that, that God is not a man? Uh, it's talking, it's saying that he can't lie. God is not a man that he should lie. So it's not saying he's not a man, it's saying he's not a man that he should lie. And what about the commandments? The what about them? I have no gods other than me. There aren't any gods other than him. He knows of no other gods and he's all knowing. So there is. There aren't. No, Satan is referred to as a god with a small g. We're talking about divine gods though. We're not talking about the gods of Baal and that sort of stuff. We're not talking about false Sorry, we're talking about genuine gods. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Yes, they do. Excellent. If you look at their teachings... Not the teachings. Show me in the Bible. Let me just come back to this gentleman. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, please, please. Not Jewish teachings, Jewish scripture. There's a difference. There's no... Ex Excellent. It's not in the Bible. Well, do you pray to Jesus? I pray in the name of Jesus. Um, in the Bible, it does, he was asked how do we pray. Yes, and he gave, he gave the instructions. Lord's Prayer. Did he give instructions yes. to pray to himself? To the Father. To the and he also, ah, but he also says that that you ask for in my name, you will be given. So I just told you I pray in his name to the Father. But he directly said to pray to the Father. And he directly said, if you pray in my name, it shall be given. Yeah. Okay. Jesus wasn't an atheist. Of course, he's going to tell you to pray to the Father. He, yeah, okay, but he wasn't. The Father directly. also, sorry, sorry. The Father also searches the mind of the Holy Spirit, who indwells us, and the Holy Spirit prays on our behalf to the Father. When Jesus was taken by Satan yes. to the, in the desert, yep. he said that all of this, all of these cities, could be yours. Of could be yours. Because he is the God of this system. How could I just say to him after that? Because he's the God of this system. Because he's the God of this system. Yes. So how can Satan offer someone that you believe By the is permission. Everything? By the permission of. If you look at the book of Job, it should be explained. By the sovereign means that you give authority to you. It, nothing happens outside of God's will. So you say, do you believe that Satan had sovereignty? He has dominion. He doesn't have sovereignty. So you believe that Satan had the power? I believe that the Bible tells me that. that I'm answering him. But I'm just giving him the Bible, and he's coming against me. What well, I believe? I believe the Bible. Yeah, me, yeah, me too. The Bible me too, me too. says. But I'm trying to understand how Satan could say you can have all of these yeah. principalities. He's the father of lies, I'm just going to point that out, and a murderer from the beginning. Okay, but he's the creator of all things. So Jesus the whole thing, is the creator the of all things. Can God, can God be tempted? No. 
So why was God being tempted in, in the he desert? He wasn't I, I tempted. Know. He wasn't tempted. He was tried. But it says he was. No, Satan attempted to. Jesus didn't consider his proposal. Yeah, but if he was God, Satan would know that this person cannot be Satan knows and he's doing it because he's in the earth and he's been made lesser than angels. This is the Bible. The Bible doesn't say that it's without contradiction for a start. And it's not a contradiction. A contradiction would be if Satan would have come up to Christ and said, I know you're not God. That's a contradiction because we know that Jesus is God. What, what about when one of the scribes or Pharisees, they asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment of all? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, strength and mind and love your neighbour as yourself. Okay. Now, if you're reading that, And that encompasses the entirety of the law. That, yes. And you don't have any idea about Trinity. Yes. Say or Godhead. Bible, you don't have the any Godhead. idea of this concept. 1 John 5, 7. Okay. You do have an idea of that concept. You're, you're, mis read, you're misrepresenting the Bible. If you're, read, if you're reading this passage... Are you a Unitarian? And Jesus himself, Jesus himself says, the greatest commandment is to love the Lord God with all your heart and all your And love your neighbour as yourself. Neighbor. Yeah, because that, and then he goes on to say, no, because you're cherry picking. He goes on to say, and this encompasses the entirety of the law. Okay, so if you're reading that and you have no idea about Jesus Then you better get an idea. You have no idea about Jesus being God. Right. How can you, how you're not you reading the same book then. All right, I'll answer you. That you. If you're reading. says that Jesus isn't God and he is commanding you, the best commandment. John 1 1, no. He just love God. Okay, excellent. He didn't say I, I, I am God. Bro, can I speak? Are you a Unitarian? Yeah. Uh, I, I Are you a modalist? I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to say... Uh, because You're you not a Trinitarian, that's for you sure. You want to find out what my religion is. No, I, no I, want to believe, I want to find out what your interpretation of the Bible is. Because the same Bible that you say... Well, if you're, well let me ask you though. Yeah. If you're reading the Bible and you don't know that the Bible says Jesus is God, you're not reading the same Bible as I. Uh, one, I'm going to give you the whole list of verses. 1 John 5, 7. There are three in heaven that bear witness. To that's me, a prophet one, yeah. is a messenger for someone, right? Yep. So you say to me, go over there and tell someone something, right? Now, if I am his messenger, then how can I be him at the same time? It's a contradiction. John 1 answers you. No, John 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was... Excuse me. Take it up with John, mate. Okay, listen, it's, 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 it's God brief. No, you can't. I've got the mic and it's right in front of my mouth. It's right in front of my mouth. If you think Jesus is the father, you've got issues. The point... Wait, I, I just want to answer this guy's point. So if you think that the the Godhead is not referenced specifically as three, 1 John 5, 7, you've got John 1, you've got every single book of the Bible has Jesus in it, and the father sends him in John 3, 16. Um, hold on, there's, there's many. There's just too many. What is your point? Okay. Well, when, G when the scribe asked him what's the greatest commandment, yeah. at no point did he the say... Lord, God. He doesn't I say, I am God. not your God. Do you think that scribe walks away believing that Jesus... It wasn't was a scribe. Or a Pharisee, whoever it was. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Do you believe that person walks away from that conversation believing that man he just spoke to is God? I believe lots of Jews believe that Christ believed himself to be God because they kept picking up stones. Do you believe that man... Is I don't know. You don't know, but you I know, don't know. That you interpret reading that from reading that. You, they, they, I'm listening to Christ's words, not the man's inner thoughts. I don't search the hearts of men. God alone made, does. Be made simple enough for us this to guy wants to revise the Bible and have some sort of commentary in there to make it simpler. No, that's true. You said it's a bit vague. You could say you're revising the Bible. It's God breathed. What is vague is your passage that you have given. I've got the heart. Jesus is God. If we listen to exactly what Jesus says himself. Yeah. I am the living God, you mean? It doesn't say In the Aramaic plain English Bible in Matthew 14. Do you want me to bring it up on camera? I'll put that up on the edit. Hang on. Excuse me. Matthew 14. Twenty-seven. Fear not, for I am the living God. In the Aramaic Plain English Bible. I have two questions. When Jesus puts his head to the ground, who is he putting his head to the ground for? He prays to the Father. The Father. Yes. He's always in, been in communion with the Father since the beginning. And he's been. In Why would he stop talking to him while he's on earth? Right. He's given an example to others. Carefully, also. I'm listening to what you just said. Excellent. I'm carefully listening to what you just said. You said he was in constant communication with the Father. Right? Yes. The Father is outside of time, right? Yes. The Father is all knowing, right? Yes. Can the Father be flesh? Uh, the Father can't. Uh, if if anyone sees his face, they will not live. 
Why is it? They will crumble, yeah? Well, the whole earth or the mountains will crack and everything. Why? Because he's a big ball of light that nobody uh, he's, can I wouldn't put it quite like that, but he he sends the sun and he sends the spirit. He is the spirit? No, he isn't. All right, cool. So Jesus puts his head to the ground. I don't, what verse are you referencing? In the Bible, it doesn't say he put his I'm head I'm asking you. Also, do, are you including the times when he looks heavenward and no birds peck his eyes out? No, no, like no. no. There's, there's, okay. a, there's a specific line that I've read yeah. before. But what about exactly the times where? he prays um, other than prostrating? Yeah. What I know, what I know of the Bible is that there's different versions and there's the Red Bible. What about when he looks up to his father have and you, speaks and says, share heard, with me the glory. The yes, the Red Letter Bible. Yes, letter I've Bible. got it. What is the Red Letter Bible? It means every word of Christ is in red lettering. Just his words, right? Yes. And in the Red Bible, yep. does, it say that, does he say that I am God? Yes. He says, I am God. Yes, he says, before Abraham was, I am. That's good, only, not God. Why call me good? Anyway, where's Jesus? Only good. That's what Jesus said with his own Excellent. Word. And he doesn't say... Only God is good. And he doesn't and say, I am not God. Don't you understand? All right, I'm going to do a wrap up. I'm going to do a wrap up. I'm going to do a wrap up. I do have to wrap up because I would like a cigarette, if that's all right. Excellent. It doesn't make sense to you. Pray for some discernment. Anyway, JC, over here, bro. Only God is good. Only No, in other places he says it. So, anyway, Jesus is Lord. I will show you. Matthew 14, 27. No. 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 Answer what, what faith do you have? He believes in God. Do you deny Christ? I'm talking about the Bible and what Jesus said. Excellent, but you, you said you believe in the Bible. Personally. You said you... Yes, Let's I do. No, said. no, I'd like Let's to ask you a question. Bible. Okay, you because don't want to engage. Because you don't want to question the Bible. Excellent. I, I don't engage about to. the Bible. It's God breathed. I want to it's engage with you Excellent. about the all right. Bible. I'm not available at the moment. Uh, okay, so God bless you all and see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>